Welcome back to the demonstration portion of the DMV pre-trip. In this section, I will go through in real time the pre-trip as if I'm being examined for the first time. Okay, I'm looking underneath the rig. I'm looking for um, puddles, um, anything that's fallen off the rig or dangling down off the rig. Um, brackets, bolts, um, hangers. I'm looking also um, how the rig is sitting. Is it shifted from one side to the other, maybe indicating a uh, suspension problem. Okay, I'm gonna start from the top of my rig. I'm gonna look at my running lights, making sure all my running lights are secure. Looking at all the lenses, and the lenses are clean, clear, not cracked, and is there any condensation or leaks. Should be amber in the front. All my lights are gonna check uh, the operation of them later. I'm gonna move down to my windshield. Look at the, um, the seal around the windshield, make sure there's no cracks, damage to the seal. The windshield itself should not have any legal stickers or cracks or any obstructions in the, in the windshield. Moving on to my windshield wipers. The arm should be um, intact, not bent. The wiper, the rubber itself, should be intact. It's not, it's not coming off. I'm gonna get the hoses right here. Make sure that the hoses are intact. There's no damage to the hoses. And it's a good time right now to talk about, go to my windshield wiper fluid, which is underneath the captain's area, and actually check my fluid level there. Going down to my lights, my lights, make sure that my uh, blinkers, my left and right blinkers and hazards are securely mounted, the lenses are not cracked, not broken, there's no uh, uh, corrosion or it's not damp inside. All my lights, make sure they're secure, my headlights and high beams, make sure that the lenses are good and they're all secure. And then any equipment I may have on the outside, I'm going to make sure that everything is secure. Good. Okay, I'm gonna come around and look at my mirror. Make sure my mirror is secure. The brackets. The mirrors are all secure. Look at the, uh, the mirror itself. It's clean, clear, not cracked. Not broken. I'm gonna open up my latch. Make sure I'm latches. I'm looking at the weather seal all the way around. My uh, door. Look at the hinge. Make sure it operates smoothly. While I'm in here, I can check the seatbelt. Here's the matches. And you can also check the operation of the window. Make sure that this latches securely. Handles secure. Any kind of lights or reflectors, make sure there's amber in the front. Make sure they're all mounted securely with the lenses. It's not uh, clean, clear, not cracked. Looking at my step right here, make sure the step is secure. It's securely mounted, there's nothing hanging off it, it's not bent. And then I'm going to go underneath uh, and check my uh, power steering box. Power steering box, I'm going to talk about, uh, check my box, make sure the box is secure, any hoses coming off my box, make sure the connections are tight, the hoses are not leaking, there's no frays. Checking my U-joints, they come off the box, uh, and are there any foreign objects stuck in the U-joints, making sure all, all the bolts are secure on the U-joints. Uh, coming off my power steering box is my pitman arm. Make sure my pitman arm is secure, no nuts are in place. Off my pitman arm is my drag link. I'm going to check my upper and lower steering arm or steering ring knuckle, which uh, attaches to my tie rod. Throughout that, I'm, I'm checking all the bolts, cotter pins, castle nuts, making sure nothing is bent, broken, or cracked. Um, Condition inflation and depth. My condition, making sure that there's nothing stuck in the, uh, the tread. There's no bulges coming out my treads and uh, there's even wear going on on my tread. Um, inflation, I'm gonna make sure I, I saw my logbook for inflation, make sure that it's correct for uh, inflation. Make sure that valve stem is in good condition and uh, have the cap or not. 
and the tread itself on the front should not have any retreads in the front. Uh, just make sure that, <coughs> again, that the tread is good from the outside middle to the inside. It should be 4 3 seconds in the front. Moving down my rim, make sure the uh, bead is good. Speed contact with the tire. Um, the rim itself should not have any legal welds, it should not be bent at all. Any cracks coming off any of the holes. Put on my lug nuts. Uh, make sure that <coughs> all these beady caps can be removed and try to get a good look at all my uh, lug nuts. Make sure that there's no looseness happening with my lug nuts, uh, be indicated by shiny threads or rusty uh, rust trails. Um, any gap between the lug nuts and the rim itself. I'm looking at all the bolt holes, making sure that there's no cracks coming off them. Then your hub, make sure there's no spider coming off. Looking for leaks coming off from your hub. Then moving on to the inside of my tire. On the inside of my tire, I'm going to talk about my brakes. And follow my hose, my air hose. Make sure my hoses are in good condition and all the connections are tight. There's no leaks. Uh, the canister, uh, make sure that the canister is uh, securely mounted, the strap going around it, there's no dents to my canister. And then moving on to my slack adjuster, uh, there's two numbers, uh, no more than an inch um, play uh, with the brakes release or two inch throw. Um, moving on to my calipers, which house my brake pads. Brake pads um, should be no more than uh, no less than three, uh, a quarter inch. You measure it to the backing plate uh, with a mirror and uh, flashlight. And then your rotor itself, you're looking at your rotor for cracks or heat checks. That's near normal. Um, you should not have no cracks more than an inch along length or fingernail width wide. Um, but the cracks we're really concerned about is the one along the edge and all the way through. Moving on to my suspension. Suspension, look at the, finding the frame, looking at your mounts, how it's mounted. All your bolts should be good on um, your mounts. And then the hangers come down, look at your hangers, and then your And there you go. Check my one flap, make sure it's secure. Check my, my step, make sure it's secure and mounted, it's not broken, cracked. Battery door, make sure the batteries are secure. Make sure this is secure. Up. Matches seal. straps go around the fuel tank, there's no metal to metal contact. And then while I'm under the carriage, I'm going to check the whole frame along the rig, um, the longitudinal members and the cross members, looking for any broken bolts, or welds, or brackets. Um, also while I'm under there, I'm going to check an exhaust. The exhaust itself is, uh, I'm going to check um, all the hangers, making sure the exhaust is secure, any leaks, be by uh, rust or carbon soot. Drive shaft. Uh, checking the drive shaft is not bent and uh, securely mounted. All the U joints. There's nothing, no foreign objects in, in the U joint, and there's no missing bolts or cracks. Um, then I'm going to talk about the tire itself. The tire and the CID. Making sure that there's no um, 
little bulges, and the sidewall, little bulges, drains, abrasions. And I'm going to check the valve stems, the caps, the knots. Okay, this has an extension, make sure extension is good, and make sure that they're inflated to the lock of pressure. Um, on your tread depth, you want to make sure you check the tread depth throughout, all the way through. And the rears are going to be 230 seconds, so I'm going to check with the tread depth gauge. And while I'm under here, I'm going to check between my tires. I'm going to make sure that there's no foreign objects in between my tires and that my tires aren't touching the bottom to indicate low tire pressure. And also while I'm down here, I'm going to check my mud flap, make sure it hangs three quarters of the way down, it's not, not torn, and securely done. And then I'm going to move to my rim, make sure the tire is, has to be contact, the bead's good, looking at the rim itself, there's no welds, checking all the holes, there's no cracks coming off the holes, and lug nuts, again, beauty caps, looking at the um, treads, the threads, and if uh, trying threads, rust strands, making sure that the uh, lug nuts are not spaced or not coming off the rim and indicating looseness. I'm going to do that for each one. All my lug nuts um, can have more than two in ten or five, one in five missing. And then hub, hub has looking for leaks right here. It has a breather hole. I'm going to take off the cap and take a look at um, the sight glass for fluid level. Then I'll talk about on the inside the brakes. Brakes, we'll check, check as I did the front. Um, hoses, um, connections, um, chamber, and then slack adjuster. Uh, and then from slack adjuster, I'm going to my brake pads, core wrench as well measuring to the backing plate and then the rotor um, the one inch length of uh, cracks or fingernail width wide cracks all the way to the edge is the ones we're really worried about and then moving on to my suspension looking at the mounts you see it checking making sure that it's mounted to the frame securely all my bolts are present it's hanging Checking my hangers, my straps, shouldn't have more than 25% um, shifted, missing, or cracked. All my straps or shackles all the way through. Looking at my U bolts, <coughs> checking the U bolts, make sure no damage, the bolts, you know, the nuts themselves, and then checking this side as well for uh, mounts and hangers. If it has a shock, I want to make sure that the shock. Check the top, upper and lower mounts and make sure that it's not leaking. There's no dents. Moving on. In this compartment, we usually have our safety equipment. It's going to have at least three triangles, but we carry cones. And then the property rating extinguisher. Make sure it's the right one. And then you should have extra fuses for any electrical fuses, just in case we have something go out, um, and we have extra fuses for that. Okay, I'm going to check all my lights, make sure that they're all clear. And the running lights, making sure these are all secure, red in the back, go to the rear. Checking all my reverse lights, brake lights, turn signals. Sure that the drawn secure, the lenses are clear, clean, clear, not cracked. Make sure the license plate's on secure. This door, make sure the seal's good, knots looks good, hinge looks good, knots is good. Checking again lights.